Hi everyone, it's Myra. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I'm really excited to be back in front of the camera. It's been one week since I posted. I did take Mother's Day off and did not film. I am really excited about today's video though. I'm gonna be filming a collective haul. I've been bringing in some new things into my closet, into my home. And so I wanted to give you a quick look at everything that I brought in. I do hope you know that I'm not filming this video at all to brag or anything like that. I just really have been intentional about what I bring into my apartment. I live in a pretty small space, so I'm always very cautious and I really think through all of my purchases. So I had my eye on a few things and as I picked them up, put them aside and show you guys. I wanted you guys to know kind of my thoughts just based on my weather, what am I bringing into my closet now? And so there are a few home items I'll show you and then I did bring in some new clothing. And so for most of the clothing, I will say they work for summer, they work for you know weekends, they work for the office. So I always try to be intentional about that as well, just to make sure that I can get the most use of my clothes. But without further ado, let's jump into this haul. I went to Anthropology, Madewell, Nordstrom Rack. I did buy a bathing suit online, which is from Uswim, and I did buy some Lululemon. So I'll start off with Madewell. And so you've already seen one of these items. It's this mustard top. And even though it's really warm in Arizona, because I work in an office that's anywhere from like 70 degrees-ish kind of temperatures, I like to have long sleeve tops. So it's got a long sleeve kind of puff sleeve and it has elastic and it almost got a plaid pattern on it, but it's just plaid on itself. There's no other colors or anything like that. And I got this in the sale section at Madewell in a size medium. I could have sized down to a small, but they didn't have one. So the next piece, same thing. I love Madewell. I got this one in the sales section as well. So again, a long sleeve top and it has a very similar pattern where it looks as if it's checkerboarded and it's got a sweetheart type of neckline. And then down the middle, there are some buttons. I figured this would be great for like a date night if I'm going out to dinner, something like that. Both of these tops are more crop style. Really like these tops. This one's a very, very soft material in a size medium as well. Another store I forgot to mention that I got some items from is Laud the Label. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but it's an online store. I snagged this on sale. I had my eye on this for probably the last two months. And of course I'm sitting at work. I get a notification that they're having a sale and I finally decide to make the choice to buy this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful set. But the top is pretty simple. It's actually not a top that I would typically pick myself. I liked that it was something different. You'll most of the time find me in either a t-shirt or a simple button down short sleeve or long sleeve. That's a big piece of what I've been wanting to expand on is try different types of tops. So this one is plain black. It almost looks and sits like a tank top. Very, very wide. I'll show you in the try-on section of this haul, but very simple top and it pairs with these. And this was what I really, really wanted. And I have my eye on the other colors now, the other prints. They are a wide leg cropped pant. Being five foot, they fit me pretty full length actually, but that is not a problem at all for me. I didn't want them cropped. They are double lined. So on the inside, there are two layers. That way nothing shows, nothing see-through. This one is the inner layer and this is the outer thicker layer. They're heavier than I thought they would be, but even in warm Arizona weather, I wore these to work. They looked great and want to show you the waistband. I got a medium in both the top and the bottom. The pants, I would say fit me just about perfect. I could have maybe sized up to a large just to have more room in the hips, but I think they're perfect. I was nervous when I put them on because I did think they were a little tight at first. Again, I got this in a medium. This one I do feel I could have sized down. I absolutely love this set. I'm going to cherish it with all of my heart. So the next item is something I've been looking for for so long. I've been on the hunt and I finally found one. I went to a Nordstrom Rack 
went with my mom was not planning on looking for myself at all she was trying to find something for mother's day and lo and behold i found exactly what i was looking for a midi skirt in a leopard print it's the perfect leopard print as well it's just so classy so pretty i like that it's a large print it's got an elastic waist and i am nervous because it's not like, sewn down necessarily but hopefully it doesn't twist or anything like that it is from the brand renee C. it was 29 26 dollars i was looking for these at a lot higher of a price point and i was ready to spend the money and when i found this at nordstrom rack i just could not pass up such a good deal such a beautiful skirt it's a heavy weight too it does not feel very like thin or like it's gonna stick to my body i sized up i normally a medium in bottoms but i wanted that loose fit that way my stomach could have some breathing room for sure so i got this in a large it just sat so pretty and even same with the length i believe these are supposed to be midi skirts but it more so fits me around my ankle and i like it that way i think it would look strange if it sat any higher around like the calf area you always want to hit at the narrowest part so the waist you want it to be at the highest and kind of tightest part of your waist and so same with this, this one falls right at my ankles so it doesn't show too much of my calves, which I absolutely adore. I figured this is really great. I could wear it with a plain black t-shirt, some gold jewelry and call it a day. It's a very simple office weekend, whatever. So absolutely adore this. The next item I have been looking at for so long, it's from You Swim. I do not own a bathing suit and I live in Arizona. I just said it. So I have a trip planned upcoming to go to California. I have been to California. It's somewhere where I see myself living one day even. I'm not a very big bathing suit fan. I just had all those negative thoughts about bathing suits and me being in one, but I wanted to, because I have this trip planned, I wanted to get over those. I really wanted to work through those and I found the absolute best brand to do that with. So I had been seeing you swim on Instagram. I've seen a lot of my favorite influencers wear them and I was very nervous to get a bathing suit. One, that's one size fits most and two online. I went to the mall, tried on a few similar styles, but something just, just was not convincing me. I just felt like this pool that, you know, you swim had on my heart. I, I was gonna try to make something work with a store nearby, like a Victoria's Secret or even Aerie were like the top choices I had because they actually came out with pretty similar styles this year. Just You Swim had my heart to begin with and I knew that they had high quality materials, they paid their employees well. I picked up the Eva High Waisted, Eva, hope I'm pronouncing one of those correctly, bathing suit. So it looks so strange holding it up. And as, when I got this in the mail, I was absolutely terrified. But as I tried it on, it does really fit your body and you can kind of position it the way you want it. So it's a high-waisted bathing suit and it has a pretty high leg. I'm sure you can hike it up if you wanted it more. And the top looks so tiny, I was nervous about this. I actually ended up, and I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera, I got the ink color so it's a very deep navy this one did not stretch as much as i thought so i don't know if i just don't have top half that it just didn't need to stretch but i i think it was very very pretty and flattering i actually wear a very similar style sports bra to this shape so i knew i wanted something like this and they do have a style at you swim that is more coverage so this one actually has more of like a v neckline which I actually adore. I didn't want it to feel like my sports bra that I wear all the time at the gym, so that's why I went with this one. So it's just absolutely beautiful. Again, it's one size fits most, or seven, I believe they, they say. It's a seven in one sizing, so this is just so beautiful. I didn't have to worry about picking the right size. I just picked my color, got my U swim, and I'm so excited to go to California, be on the beach, and finally have a bathing suit. It was definitely worth the investment. This is probably the only bathing suit brand I'll ever shop from again. I think it just, I'm convinced. There's the word. I'm convinced that this is my bathing suit. I love the shape, style, 
and that's what you want in a bathing suit you want to feel confident and so of course all these thoughts i had before of like oh i don't need a bathing suit i don't even like being out in the sun and even thoughts of oh i could never pull off a bathing suit. I've been convinced otherwise now and now I'm going to wear a bathing suit very very happily. The next store I did go to was Anthropology. I love their bags. I just had to show it. I've been looking for a white top for what feels like forever at this point. So here's the white top. I'll show it in a try on. It actually looked great with these jeans. These are what I wore to the mall. And so the material is very soft. It just feels like a regular t-shirt material like cotton but on the shirt there are these very pretty scalloped lines so they almost look like stripes this is a v-neck i do not wear v-necks typically so this this haul was definitely about getting out of my comfort zone trying something new that way when i do rewear some of the classic styles i always reach for i have days where i can actually wear something different and the you know break up all the button downs that i wear so this top is absolutely gorgeous it's cropped it gathers at the waist here it has a little drawstring here too the sleeves are kind of like a flutter sleeves really like this for summer in arizona where it's 120 degrees and my arms are not going to be sweaty my armpits aren't going to be stuck to some t-shirt it's very see-through so of course i'm going to throw on like a nude bra situation underneath and that's the one clothing piece i got from anthropology i did get this in a size medium the next items i got from anthropology are candles i love me some volcano candles if you don't know the ones here they are the capri blue volcano candle and it just smells very very simple i always like to say that you can leave this candle open and it'll still give you a lot of fragrance throughout the room and i did pick up a smaller canister of it this candle has a print on it with some oranges i would assume same scent a nice little smaller version of it i'll probably put this one either in the bathroom or bedroom and this one out more in the living room and so these are pretty much refills for me i know what candle i like and this is the only one i use now the next item that i got was from crate and barrel it goes with the candles it's a candle wick trimmer this is 14 dollars from crate and barrel and i had my eye on it for so long and so now i have a candle wick trimmer and i don't have to just use scissors and accidentally stab my candle and so these are like a nice gold pair the last store that i went to in the mall was lululemon i have lululemon workout clothes already but the one thing i had not gotten yet was a pair of leggings from them and so again when it comes to my clothing i've been really intentional about what i bring in and so i have my eye on things and kind of hold off on purchasing until i'm absolutely certain and so i decided to get just an essential pair of black leggings i know the align are everybody's bread and butter but just because i work out and train more i was afraid they were going to fall apart when i tried them on they felt you know that like second skin in just not the best way for me personally i'm sure if i did more yoga i would be all about the align but with squatting and just other heavier types of training that I do. I wanted something a little bit thicker in the waistband that would stay up. I got the Wonder Train HR and they are a 23 length. So that actually fits me pretty full length. A continuous draw cord. I don't know the benefits of this, but I just noticed that it felt really like tight on the top, but not like over spilling tight but just it felt like it wasn't going to slip down because of that continuous cord it has in here so they are really really nice pair of leggings i like that the seams are not on the outsides of the thighs that way it's nice and mostly seamless i'd say so again i'll show you in the try on what they look like there's no pockets or anything so there's not gonna be too many details i'm thinking this is gonna be my new favorite essential legging in a size 8 and 88 dollars so that was everything that i have been collecting and wanting to show you i do hope you enjoy this video really just wanted to show you how i make decisions how i shop i'll show you how i style most of these clothes in future videos what i was able to pick up today and i hope you have a great rest of your day i would love if you gave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it hit the subscribe button down below if you would like to be subscribed to me 
and hit the bell notification if you would like to be notified every time I post. Bye!